Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from VitalCoaching.com. You probably wonder what these swings are about. It's love swings. No, it's yoga swings. You know, we can do lots of practices, but yes, you can use that for tantric sex and tant engaging in a sensual way. So I'm going to show you some techniques another day with that. Uh, nothing too extreme, but it's very, really powerful. Um, slow down with sensual play. You see what's happening with, uh, with the people, with the women or the men you are interacting with. It is that very often you are not going to go and engage and have sex. Very often it's going to be just light sensual touch. And so there are lots of opportunities in life where you meet a woman, you know, you as a man, you meet a woman, and then what's happening is that you go like, wow, I don't think I would have sex with that person, but there is a whole range or there is a whole space there where there is still room for sensual play. And sensual play is beautiful because it brings a whole chain reaction of biochemicals in your system when you, when you are touched or where you touch somebody. So it can be really bringing lots of validation and gratification in your system that is worth it. The fact that there is not going to be intercourse at the end doesn't mean that it's not interesting. So, you know, in the communities where I'm in, very often we are engaged in sensual play a lot. And sensual play doesn't mean erotic. There is no sexual touch. It's sensual, but it's not sexual. You see, yeah, and sometimes from sensual it starts evolving into something that becomes sexual. But the idea is very simple. It is that our skins and our touch is like receptors Jaya! <laughs> our skins and our, our bodies and our beings are receptors and our whole, um, you know, body is like a sensual channel that activates certain reactions and certain things and certain biochemicals in our system. So we can play with these energies and stay within the range of sensual play and have tremendous powerful experiences. And of course, sensual play, you know, when you slow down in the sensual play, it's also something that you can, uh, that you can do as a foreplay technique to engaging further into sex. But the idea is this, it's like, look at sensual play, look at your body as a channel of energy as a powerful way of connecting with another human being. And in the process of doing that with your lover, with your woman, uh, you are going to start creating bonding experiences that don't necessarily mean, oh, let's go and have sex. And the reason why you want to do that is because it expands the potential for pleasure. Like sometimes penetration is not appropriate for different reasons. Maybe it's not the right time or you're not in the mood or there is something else potential there. So you take time to, for instance, eye gaze and to connect and to breathe together. And this is going to expand the experience, expand the potential of your, you know, sensual experience with any, anybody, with a woman uh, that you are with, with somebody with who you're already bonded and partnered or with somebody that you just met, that you are casually having an exchange. Sometimes sensual touch and sensual exchange is going to be way more interesting than conversation. You might be there talking about having an interview conversation with somebody. Where do you come from? What do you do? Where are you going? No, no, no. You know, what's, you know. And some of this might not be really necessarily interesting. And if you shift and you stop and you pause and you go like, you slow down and you put your hand on that person's shoulder and then you engage into a sensual direction, it might be way more interesting and way deeper then keep on chatting on a mental level. You get the picture, right? I'll see you soon for another video.